In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone. The sunshine has to be in your heart, and then we'll all be, we'll be, all be in the light. Well, we come together to worship the Lord, to give thanks for the blessings in our lives, small and big ones, and the, the little miracles that happen. We come to pray for ourselves, our families, our loved ones, to pray for one another, to shore up one another's faith. We don't go to God alone, we go as a family and to call on God's mercy for any forgiveness or healing we may need as we begin our Mass. You came to heal the contrite. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty and merciful God, that the Holy Spirit, coming near and dwelling graciously within us, may make of us a perfect temple of his glory. We pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Spirit. You are our God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Miletus, Paul had the presbyters of the church at Ephesus summoned. When they came to him, he addressed them. You know how I lived among you the whole time from the day I first came to the province of Asia. I served the Lord with all humility and with the tears and trials that came to me because of the plots of the Jews. And I did not at all shrink from telling you what was for your benefit or from teaching you in public or in your homes. I earnestly bore witness for both Jews and Greeks to repentance before God and to faith in our Lord Jesus. But now, compelled by the Spirit, I am going to Jerusalem. What will happen to me there I do not know except that in one city after another, the Holy Spirit has been warning me that imprisonment and hardships await me. Yet I consider life of no importance to me, if only I may finish my course and the ministry that I received from the Lord Jesus, to bear witness to the gospel of God's grace. But now I know that none of you to whom I preach the kingdom during my travels will ever see my face again. And so I solemnly declare to you this day that I am not responsible for the blood of any of you, for I do not shrink from proclaiming to you the entire plan of God. The word of the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. A bountiful rain you showered down, O God, upon your inheritance. You restored the land when it languished. Your flock settled in it. In your goodness, O God, you provided it for the needy. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Blessed day by day be the God, be the Lord who bears our burdens, God who is our salvation. God is a saving God for us. The Lord, my Lord, controls the passageways of death.
Alleluia, alleluia. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son, so that your Son may glorify you, just as you gave him authority over all people so that your son may give eternal life to all you gave him. Now this is eternal life, that they should know you, the only true God, and the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. I glorified you on earth by accomplishing the work that you gave me to do. Now glorify me, Father, with you, with the glory that I had with you before the world began. I revealed your name to those whom you gave me out of the world. They belong to you, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you gave me is from you, because the words you gave to me I have given to them, and they accepted them, and truly understood that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for the ones you've given me, because they are yours, and everything of mine is yours, and everything of yours is mine, and I have been glorified in them. <clears throat> and now I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world while I am coming to you. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs> Both of these readings this morning are poignant. St. Paul is saying goodbye to some of the people that he spent a lot of time with preaching the gospel. He said, you won't see my face again. The Spirit is calling me. And he's going to Jerusalem, eventually to imprisonment. Jesus here is saying, I'm going to the Father. I've done my best with the people you've given me. I've given them the word you gave me. And they know that it came from you. And so now I, I leave them. But they don't leave the world, Father, they continue. So it's, um, it's a lot like life, you know. At a certain point, we have a certain responsibility, certain commitments. We do the best we can, but it's never forever because the Spirit calls us into another phase of life, into another way of witnessing to the gospel. And those transition times can be difficult. We continue to celebrate the ascension and if you remember, in it, the celebration of the Ascension is Jesus' departure, but also his arrival more intimately in our lives. Now, if you remember, but in the Gospel of Luke, at the end, when he talks about the Ascension, he brings the disciples out to Bethany, and he's blessing them, and then it says he departs. And they return to Jerusalem rejoicing. That's unexpected. Because last supper, he's saying, I'm going. They say, you can't go. I have to die. You can't die. But now, as he departs in the ascension, they come back to town rejoicing and go to the temple. Why rejoicing? Well, he hasn't left, really. The ascension is not like taking off to a distant star. One of the best phrases, I think, theologians have for the ascension is that Jesus entered fully into the mystery of God. Entered fully into the mystery of God. The ascension is a way of talking about that. So rather than having gone to some distant place, because Jesus is now in the mystery of God, and God is with you and me and every part of God's creation, Jesus is now present, intimately present, intensely present in this world and in your life and in my life. And so we celebrate that presence in the Ascension. And as Paul says to the ones he preached to, and as Jesus said about his disciples, it's up to you and to me to be conduits for Jesus, for the Spirit, that God's grace may enter the world, to transform us, change us, but also to change our world as well. So we give thanks for that. When Pope Benedict commented on the Ascension, he said, 
Look at, at the end there when Jesus, in, in Luke's gospel, Jesus is blessing them, it says, and then he departs. So Pope Benedict says, why not just use that as an image and think of that blessing continuing as a kind of a roof over us to give us courage, to give us strength and protection and healing, because it really is a, a gesture that captures what's going on in our life now that Jesus is present. We celebrate the work he did, the work Paul did in announcing the reign of God. We celebrate their need to transition and, and depart, but we celebrate the arrival in a very powerful and intimate way of the Lord in our life, asking us then to continue to announce the reign of God. And let's pray for intentions we have this morning. Let the desire for Christian unity be lived out in common works of mercy and in common prayer, we pray to the Lord. Lord that our common home, the earth. St. Ambrose said, when Jesus rose, the earth rose with him. So Jesus takes all of creation back to the Father in his resurrection and ascension. So we pray that our common home, the earth, may rejoice in increased care from all the people of the globe. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that those persecuted for their faith find courage, even in the hardest days, and always see the hand of God in their witness to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. that this community may live more and more as the people of the end times, anxiously awaiting the return of Christ by word and deed, we pray to the Lord. Lord Let's take a quiet moment for personal intentions we have in our hearts this morning. We pray to the Lord. The risen Lord and the Spirit accompanies us on our pilgrimage of faith. Mary, Jesus' mother, also accompanies us as a pilgrim with us. And she knows our needs. Let's ask her to pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We make all of our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed By the mystery of this water and wine, may we share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Please pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father.
Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's right truly right and just our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to thank you, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes to you. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ <clears throat> we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Daniel, our Bishop, and all of your people. Remember also all of our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In the Lord's Prayer, we pray to be delivered from all evil, and so in faith we pray, Our Father, <coughs> who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us now into temptation, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accord with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord always be with you. Amen. We wish one another the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, the Lord of the sins of the world, and the Lord of the Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Oh, I say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
for a concluding hymn. Could we try page 456, number 456? You are mine. Let us pray. We partaking of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless all of us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> I will come to you in the silence. I will lift you from all your fear. You will hear my voice, claim you as my choice. Be still and know I am here. Do not be afraid, I am with you. I have called you each by name. Come and follow me. I will bring you home. I love you and you are mine. I am hope for all who are hopeless. I am eyes for all who long to see. In the shadows of the 